on another adventure, are we? Not sure how I'd fare. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic. Excuse me, did you say something about? I did. I don't think we've met. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot. I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for Any help would be appreciated. You might speak... I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire... Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Madam Beaumont. Yes? What? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother. Oh, dear Dorothy. She go looking for bad Arthur. She mentioned dark man. Despite my repeated <laughs> warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark... I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. <laughs> But then one day, he didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run? No, he'd never leave me here alone. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Is there anything your brother took with mm, Only his satchel, journal. I'll let you know if I... Oh, thank you. How kind. What do you have for sale? Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Marvellous. I could always use more of these. Thank you for passing through. I couldn't help it over here. I did? <sighs> Never imagined they'd act... Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet. Or... My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them. I'm simply at my wits. You said Ranrock's loyalists. To the south, across the river. Last I heard, I won't go near them. How did your brother bother? <sighs> Baldolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and when a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Baldolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against the rock and robbed him. <sighs> the moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can... <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We cautious is not here. my middle name. Is our home. <laughs> it seems as though things are getting worse. 
Must be on my guard. Less follower, Ranrock. One camp down, one more to go. Revenia. Enjoy suffering, do you? You are not in the form cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio. Oh. This is Castle. for the cost. Must have been quite stately in its time. a pleasant enough little play. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Bo. You cleared them out? It was harrowing, and they dug in their heel. When my brother returns, this new... You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will... I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any god. What do you have for sale? What you're looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Thank you for passing through. <laughs> 